Hey folks, today's another good day. It's a good day for another Throw It On Thursday. The weather outside is starting to change. It's kind of cold and dreary out there. Most of the leaves are off the trees now. Daylight savings time is over, and you know what? The holidays are fast approaching. Along with the holidays come family gatherings, Christmas parties, office parties, and you know what is a common theme in all those different parties and gatherings? Bringing food to share. I have a confession to make. I usually kind of cheap out on the sharing food thing and go to the store and grab a cheese tray or maybe a, a stick of summer sausage. But hey, I'm sharing. I thought this year I'd do it a little differently. I thought I'd make myself some summer sausage and share some of that. So that's what we're going to do for this Throw It On Thursday. I'm going to make some homemade summer sausage. To make summer sausage right is it's kind of a big process. But thankfully for some companies out there like PS Seasoning, they've made it a little easier for me. About a month or so ago, I went down to PS Seasoning and looked around, found out they didn't have a retail store, but I did order some stuff online. One of the things I ordered online was some summer sausage seasoning, garlic summer sausage seasoning. This is gonna make it a lot easier for me to make summer sausage. Along with this seasoning package, I also got a package of meat cure. For those of you that might not know, and I didn't know this before I started doing this sausage making thing, summer sausage is a cured meat. It's usually cooked at a low temperature for a long period of time, so you need some sort of protection in there to keep bad things from growing in the meat while it's being cooked. So in addition to the seasoning, we also got some meat cure. Summer sausage is usually a smoked sausage. It's smoked at a really low temperature for a long period of time. Well, frankly, I don't really have the right kind of smoker to do it right. But fortunately, PS Seasoning folks put some instructions on how to do this summer sausage in the oven. So that's what we're gonna do. Well, this is definitely gonna be an experiment for me. I've never made summer sausage before. Hoping it turns out good because I'm gonna be sharing it with a lot of people. Let's make some summer sausage. I gotta tell you, this is gonna be sort of an expensive experiment for me. The price of beef these days is kinda high. I'm gonna be making about an eight pound batch of summer sausage. So I have about six pounds of beef and I'm gonna cut off a couple pounds from this pork butt of pork. I'm gonna add some cheese to my summer sausage. And because I'm not gonna be doing this on a smoker, I'm actually gonna be using some liquid smoke to give it a little bit of a smoke kick. We're gonna be making about a nine pound batch of summer sausage. For the beef portion, we're gonna be using a couple sirloin roasts and a chuck roast. About six and a half pounds here. For the pork component, we're using a pork butt and that's about two and a half pounds. For the summer sausage, I'm gonna be cutting up the meat exactly like I do for my other sausages, just big enough to fit in my grinder. This pork butt is a little bit frozen, so I need to be careful here. So let's go ahead and fast forward through cutting these up into cubes. This pork is going to add the fat component to this sausage. The beef is pretty lean, so we need the fat to give some additional flavor to the summer sausage. I think I've made sausage now probably about six times, but I've never used beef before. So this is new for me also. Fast forward time. Okay, we're almost done cutting all this meat up. I'm gonna throw this in the freezer for probably about an hour to make sure it firms up really good before I try to grind it. Nine pounds of meat. Time to grind the meat. I'm actually gonna do a double grind on this pork and beef combination. I have the coarse plate on here now. I'll switch it to the medium plate after we get the first grind on it. This meat is nice and cold. It's grinding up great. Okay, let's do another grind on this and get it even finer.
This is the cure that we need to add to the summer sausage. This does a couple things. It actually gives it a nice flavor, sort of a ham sort of flavor. And it also helps protect the meat from growing bacteria. This is going to be cooked at a pretty low temperature for a long time, so we want to make sure that it's pretty shelf stable. I'm going to dissolve that in some water. And now we'll thoroughly mix this in. Now it's time to add the PS seasoning, garlic summer sausage seasoning. We're gonna mix this in here really good, probably about five or six minutes to get this meat a really nice sticky consistency so that all the protein gets extracted and it becomes a nice tightly bound sausage. That's mixed pretty well, but now I think it's time to add the cheddar cheese. But first of all, Patty, even though she was born and raised in Wisconsin, doesn't really care for cheese. I don't get it. So what I'm gonna do is reserve some of this meat, take it out of here and not put any cheese in it to make a couple of summer sausages for Patty. Okay. Now the rest of the summer sausage is going to be very cheese forward. Even more cheese. It's going to be a cheesy garlic summer sausage. This is a special cheese I also got from PS Seasoning. It's a it's called a high temperature cheese. It's made different so it doesn't melt at a lower temperature. So the final summer sausage, when you slice into it, we should be able to see some nice chunks of cheese in there. Okay, I say that's mixed pretty well. Let's stuff some casings. Whoops, time out. I actually almost made an error. Well, I did make an error. I forgot to put the liquid smoke in there before I started mixing it. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to be smoking this actually on a smoker because, well, frankly, I don't have the right type of smoker to do summer sausage. Maybe one day I'll get a PS seasoning smoker. They make some awesome smokers. But for this go around, I'm actually gonna do this in the oven. And they suggest if you wanna give it a little smoke flavor, add some liquid smoke. So that's what I'm going to do. The instructions tell us to put two teaspoons in for each five pounds of meat. I almost have 10 pounds of meat. It probably is 10 pounds now with that cheese, but I really don't want it all that smoky. So I think I'm gonna not put four teaspoons in. I'm just going to put three teaspoons in this. Yeah, that certainly does add a smoke smell to it. Now it's time to stuff those casings. The first summer sausages I'm going to make are going to be the ones without cheese. These are the fibrous cases I'll be using. These are a little smaller than normal. I think normal is two and a half inches diameter. These are two inch diameter ones. I thought those would fit better on a cracker. Let's stuff it pretty tight. After I get a few more of these, I'll tie the other end, hopefully with Patty's help. Boy, those are looking good. Looks like we got about nine and a half of these summer sausages out of that batch. And now I need some help tying these things. Hey, Patty, want to help? Okay. 
<laughs> wow, that was easy. All right, I think what I'm going to do is twist this as tight as I can. And Patty, if you could tie a double knot there. Wow, you're good. Have you ever tied things before? <laughs> she used to be a kindergarten teacher. She often did that to her kids' shoes so they would not come off for the whole day. Okay, maybe eight more to go and we're done. Those are going to go into the refrigerator overnight, let the cure do its thing. And then tomorrow, we're going to cook those low and slow in the oven. It is now the next day. The cure has done its thing and now it's time to cook these. The preferred method, of course, is to smoke them. As I mentioned, my smoker doesn't get quite low enough for a long enough period of time. So I'm going to use the oven method of making summer sausage. I'm going to cook these for a little over an hour at about 100 degrees. After that, we're going to turn the heat up a bit and then let the summer sausages get up to an internal temperature about 155 degrees. I do have a probe put into one of my summer sausage chubs. So I'll see you when these are done. All right, the summer sausage spent a couple hours at 100 degrees in the oven. Then I bumped the temperature up to 190 and the summer sausage stayed in the oven for another four hours before it got up to 155. This is a six hour cook on these summer sausages. Hopefully they're good. Now they're resting in the refrigerator until they get nice and cold. Just like that, we have some nice cooled off summer sausages, some great cheesy garlic summer sausages. As you can tell by the casing, it's firmed up a bit. Can't wait to give this a try, so let's cut into one of these. I love the color of that. We got some cheese coming through. I think this is gonna taste pretty good. Wow. Cheesy garlic summer sausage. This is going to be really good to share, I hope. Let's taste it first. Yes, a winner. Funny thing, the first thing I'm actually getting is a little bit of that smoke from that liquid smoke. I actually cut down on the smoke a bit, but it's still coming through, but not overpowering. The texture is amazing, nice and moist, yet firm. I was a little bit worried because when I saw that casing shriveled up so much, I thought maybe maybe I overcooked it and this was going to be really dry, but it's not. The flavor is really good. Next time I make it, I'd probably bump up the garlic a little bit. That cheese is coming through really nice in this too. I think I'd like Patty to try this and let us know what she thinks. As you recall, I made a special one for her without that cheese because for some reason, she doesn't like cheese. Hey, look who showed up. Patty, thanks a lot for helping me tie those suckers. I couldn't have done it with just two hands. I think that's a four hand operation. You're welcome. Want to give it a try? I made you a special summer sausage without any cheese in it. No cheese. Hmm. Has a very good texture. Mm -hmm. Nice and hard, like it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And it's got a good flavor. Not like too salty or too garlicky. Mm -hmm. Do you taste a little bit of the smoke in there? I, that's do. the first thing I actually got when I tasted it today. Yeah, you do taste the smoke in there. Yeah, so hey, I guess it proves you really don't need a smoker to make pretty darn good summer sausage. You know what? I think we're going to have a lot of happy friends when we share the summer sausage with them this holiday season. Yep. Hey, cheers, cheers. and thanks. <laughs> I am very happy with the way these summer sausages turned out. You know, I was a little bit worried because most people smoke their summer sausages, but I, I thought I'd use the oven method of making summer sausage, and dang, it turned out pretty good. I know during a lot of this video, it almost seemed like a PS seasoning commercial. I mentioned them probably 
eight different times. They're not sponsoring this video. I think they're just a really good Wisconsin company that makes some very good products. Their seasonings are amazing. Their jerky seasoning is really good too. I'm making a pulled pork in the oven right now with some of their pulled pork rub and they make professional smokers. It's a really good quality Wisconsin company. I'd like to thank you for the support you've been showing me, watching the video, subscribing, liking, and commenting. I really like reading your comments and responding to pretty much every one of them. As always, I've had a really good day. I hope whatever you guys are doing, you're also having a good day. See you next time. Bye.